Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and today I'll be showing you how I created this design in Adobe Illustrator. Plus, I'll be showing you my favorite new feature. Let's get into it. So the first step that you're going to want to do is just create the outline of the cookie. We're going to add a rough in effect to it. Bring the percentage down to 1%. Detail can go down to 3. That looks good. Making everything smooth. There we go. For the chocolate chips, so just use the pencil tool. Create a little circle. Then you can add a little highlight right here like this. For the sunglasses, you're just going to do a yellow circle. Copy and paste in place. Make a smaller circle. You can make that circle black. I'm just going to option drag the yellow circle to the left a little bit and then send that back. And then lastly, I'll just add this highlight using the pencil tool again. So then what I do is copy and paste the black circle on top. And then using the Pathfinder tool, we're just going to use this one right here, the intersect option. So let's group all those together. Drag it over with an option drag. We're just going to add some speckles on the cookie. So just a bunch of little random circles here. Up next, we got to add the arm. So using the pen tool, let's draw a straight line and then switch over to the pencil tool. And then you can give it kind of a rounded off finger. Add another one. back to the pen tool so here it is after a few tweaks pretty much the same idea for the peace sign hand okay and now for the legs I'm just gonna add a straight line curve it because there's gonna be a sock there bring it up and then bring it over draw this white shape for the sock and then you can add some lines for the details all right and now for the fun part we're gonna draw the shoe I always start out with the sole of the shoe so do this shape sort of like this make it real flat on the bottom Another shape and you're most likely gonna have to go back and adjust things like this messing around with the anchors drag it down Boop. now a really important step that you're not gonna want to miss is separating all your elements into their own layers so in order to do that you're going to want to make sure each element is grouped together so i have my left sunglasses right sunglasses the hat once you have everything grouped together go up to your character layer make sure that's selected and scroll down to release to layers sequence and it'll break down everything into its own layer so you're going to want to highlight everything drag it outside of your character layer. You got the glasses, everything is separated onto its own layer. So you're just gonna go double click and you can label everything. Now that you have all your layers labeled, looks like I have 36 total layers here. So things can get a little bit confusing, but there's a new feature in Illustrator that allows you to search. So go up to this search bar here and I'm feeling like there's too many chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna search chip. And now I have all my chip layers right here and I can kind of just scroll through and decide which one I want to get rid of. Yeah, I think I'll remove that one and that looks good. I think that's a good looking design. So now when I bring my file into After Effects, all my layers are set up. This chip layer is hidden already and it just makes the workflow so much easier. It's a lifesaver. Click the link in the description to learn more about this new feature and experience it directly in Adobe Illustrator.